This is your boy, Fifth and Sweat. Welcome to the channel. Today, we will be reacting to the first female, all right, female to try out for the NFL, Lauren Silverman. Okay, let's see what happened. Let's react to it, and I will tell you guys what my view and my opinion is. Kicked her way into history, the first woman to get a shot at going to the NFL, except she didn't do very well. No. Yeah, uh, her kick was, some say, a setback for all women. ABC's Juju Chang is here with the escalating controversy. Juju. Hey, Amy. Well, you know, it was supposed to be one small kick for Lauren Silberman and one giant leap for womankind. Instead, it turned into a painful w moment in women's sports that went viral and blew up with the age-old question, can women ever make it to the big leagues? Yeah, so the kick did actually look like she hurt herself. Okay, the minute she kicked, she automatically started to limp. You can see her limping her feet. So to me, I think she got hurt. Yes, I'm pretty sure it was pretty disappointing for her. This is the first time for her to go ahead and show everything she got out of tryout to play in the NFL. You know, that's a, absolutely a big deal. And to see that happen, that's pretty that's pretty sad for her. Okay, and then to answer the question, can women play in the big league? Well, the question is yes and no. Okay. Yes, there will be some women that can make it in the NFL that can play with the big dogs. The problem is that number will be so small, it will be insignificant to even talk about. You know, this is no different than when we started to integrate female in combat arms and combat roles in the military. Okay, most people that had opposition to that it wasn't that female wanted to serve in combat units, because many of them already were. It's the fact that people were concerned that the rules and the standard was going to change. You know, and but but again, the NFL is not like the military. It's not a political tool it's not a political game it's about money it's a money making machine and when you talk about money nobody has any sympathy if any woman that is not ready to play the nfl goal she will be destroyed okay those guys in the nfl are professional people they've been doing this for since they were like five six seven years old okay and i'm telling you if a woman goes up, a woman can make it as a kicker. A woman can make it at any other position on the field. But that number will be one in a thousand, one in two thousand, one in ten thousand. The number will be too small for us to even discuss and talk about. Okay. Because these guys are talking about money and no coach, all team, or GM, or owner is going to risk making money. To just set some kind of make a political statement. That's not how they work. All right. So can a, can women play in the big league? Yes. Would it matter? No. The number will be too small and too insignificant. All right. To even talk about the only reason why we even discussing this because again, this is the this is the modern day environment where anything insignificant will seem big when it comes to some kind of diversity, some kind of like gender norming uh, uh gender norm and this is it. they're just trying to highlight something that is, is pretty fairly normal for kickers to go and try out and fail i uh, know they show her but i'm pretty sure there were thousands of kicker there that didn't make it but let you hear more about it it was the kick heard round the world which landed with a thought yeah. Make that two thoughts. She had her life. 28-year-old Lauren Silverman's hopes of being the first woman in the NFL fell so far short, she became fodder for comedians. Well, there she is, uh, kicking the football, and um, she, <laughs> she did not make the NFL. Some questioned if Silverman, a former soccer player who'd never played football, had any business trying out for the NFL, even though she'd scored the tryout with this impressive field goal at a Super Bowl fan event. But the average NFL player... Yeah, you know, soccer and football are not the same thing. You're looking at a round circle of ball, well, different, even different cleats, different shoes. Not the same thing. Football is a lot heavier it's a lot more tricky 
You know, I played soccer my whole life. I also played football since uh, my freshman year all the way up to Division three college. I kicked. I played linebacker. I played running back. It's not the same thing, okay? Even the way you kick it, yes. Playing soccer do help you learn how to kick better. And the way, to, the way you kick a soccer ball, that form, that form is actually how NFL kicker does it. So, yeah, so she had a pretty good form to do it, you know. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, she never played anything, any football in her life. She never kicked the football. She never practiced. So this is somebody that just started from a little competition to this, all right, which brings me to the point. If this was a man, would anybody give a crap, you know? Would anybody give a crap trying out when you just started this? Base kick, 41.8 yards. That's a lot. Silverman's attempt, drifting, 19 yeah, yards. That's not even Then just half. 13. Wow. The minute I kind of touched the ball, my quad, I could just feel like tense up and hurt. It was really painful. My heart sunk into my stomach when I saw the kicks. This is not good for, for Lauren. It is not good for, for any of us. Katie Nida is among the most qualified women in football. She started in high school, played college ball, and became the first woman to ever score in a Division I game. She even played pro football in the Arena League. Nida worries that Silberman's injury-plagued performance may have set back the cause of serious female kickers who fought long and hard for years to be taken seriously. Not having the kicking experience is, is huge, and I think it is maybe a bit presumptuous. Yep. And she's not the only one to feel that way. The Twitter sphere erupted with heated reactions. Disgrace to female athletes, says one woman. And will the real female kicker send us your stats? This is not representative of how women can be great athletes. But others say not so fast. She didn't have a good day, but does it impact women's sports? Not at all. Now you should know. Yeah, but this is not women's sport we're talking about. This is talking about men's sports. You're talking about women going into men's sport, not just junior league, not junior high, not college. You're talking about a professional, the National Football League, the NFL. Billions and millions of dollars is on the line. It's not a game. Me, I want to say big up to her for try, first and foremost. Anybody that will risk making themselves look stupid or failing is somebody to be admired. Okay, I hope she get another chance. I hope she goes back and train and get more experience. You're talking about 10,000 kick per month, per year. You know, she got to just kick and kick. You know, you're talking about 41, you're talking about 41 y'all. Okay, that is very, very far. She didn't even make half of that. She got a long ways to go. I believe she can make it. I believe if she try, I mean, anything is possible with enough determination and a lot of hard work, faith and sweat. You got to be determined. You got to be ready to go. You got to have faith in yourself. And you got to put in the work, you know. So I think she can do it. And I want to say a shout out uh, to Lauren for trying, for putting herself out there, being made fun of. But you know what? She's going to prove a lot of people wrong. And I want to have faith in her. I'm going to choose to have faith in her. Okay, so that year more and see how it, how we're going to go in the future. Lauren Silberman declined our invitation to discuss the backlash, but ironically, by going viral, she may have ushered in a new tidal wave of interest. As for Katie, I asked her if she might consider trying out for the NFL, and she said she's gotten so many intriguing inquiries, but she was so humble, she was quick to point out that there are other college players who are at that level and who can compete. Right. I mean, didn't she, didn't she kind of choke a little? She had that better kick, right? Yeah, she had an injury, she said, and, right. and Katie told me that it looked like she hadn't warmed up properly. Yeah. And the lack of experience really showed. I understand the controversy, but I did kind of feel bad for oh, her. Yeah, I felt bad for her, but I don't think she should have tried out. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. All right. Yes. So you see the video. I hope you like it. Please like, share, it, and subscribe to the channel. And, and let me know what you think of her trying, you know, Lauren. Giving it a shot, going out there, taking a risk. Pat, failure or not, what you guys think about women in men's sports and men and women's sports. Hey, leave it, leave that in the comment below so we can have a discussion. Is this something we should pursue? Is this something we should frown upon or celebrate? 
All right. That's all I got for today. Remember to live a grateful life. Peace. We out here.